So I've had some people asking about the safe restoration and uh, wondering what's going on. And quite honestly, guys, I just haven't had time to work on it a lot in the last uh, couple months. I've had other things much higher on the priority list and really just uh, haven't had a lot of time to be working on a second project. Uh, but uh, this week I have kind of gotten it back out and I've kind of picked up where I left off. And where I left off is I had put the Bondo on it, I've got a coat of primer on it, and I was needing to just go over it with some uh, glazing putty and just kind of finish taking out some of those uh, little rough spots and uh, do another final sanding on it. And uh, it should be ready to shoot with some paint. So um, anyway, uh, this afternoon I got out here and uh, got the spotting putty out on there and uh, the glazing putty. Got that on there. I'm going to let that harden overnight. It's probably actually hard enough to do something with now, but I'm going to wait till tomorrow and uh, probably come out here uh, and see if I can't do a little sanding and I'm going to do a little painting. So the white is just the primer. It's a building primer uh, that I had used. And uh, anyway, we're getting close to uh, shooting this thing with some paint. Uh, the wheels are ready to go back on, but I wanted to get it all painted before I put the wheels on. Uh, and then I'll, because the wheels were painted separately, and that way I don't have any unpainted parts on the bottom. Uh, the door's over here. Uh, it's all pretty much ready to go. Uh, it's got a shot of primer on it, and uh, a couple of others. Another inner door. Uh, uh, may still need to do a little bit of glazing on it. Uh, I've got it kind of sanded and primed. Uh, but anyway, we'll check that out tomorrow after that uh, everything's kind of dried on it, and we've uh, lightly sanded it again. But it is moving forward, guys, and uh, hopefully between now and uh, the next month or two, uh, we'll be able to get back on this project as well and uh, get the safe finished up. So we've been doing some more work on the Victor safe uh, while I've been off this week at, during Thanksgiving and uh, made a lot of progress. So you saw earlier where we had put on the spotting putty and uh, needed to kind of sand down that last little bit. Uh, that's all was done. Uh, did it off camera, you know, a lot of sanding dust, a lot of spray paint or, or paint spray um, being in the air and just didn't want to get my cameras out in that. And it's not really anything super exciting anyway. Uh, but we've got a, a base coat of the black paint that I'm going to use. I'm using kind of a satin finish um, paint on this. I don't want it to be too glossy. Um, you know, this is, I guess, kind of a personal preference, but a lot of times I see people do what I call over restoring an item uh, where it looks better than it did when it was new. And, and my goal here is I want something to look like it, it looked like when it was new in this case because it was so bad I couldn't really preserve the natural, the finish that was on here. Uh, it really had no choice but to be uh, restored. But I don't want this thing to be, you know, super glossy. I don't want it to look like a, a car with a mirror finish on it. Uh, I want it to look like a, a safe would have looked in the early 1900s when it was bought new. Uh, so anyway, we've got a semi-gloss uh, or satin type uh, paint on here where it will have a little sheen to it but not be too too shiny. And uh, we'll be building up some more over time. Right now we've got it flipped upside down. I haven't really started working on the inside here but just kind of got a coat on here. I want to go ahead and get the bottom finished first so we can flip this thing over and then really start working on restoring the rest of it. Because right now with it flipped over on its top, I'm probably going to have some marks and I'm going to have to sand back out and uh, touch back up. Uh, but I want to get this done. So we're going to bring you in here and kind of show you uh, putting the, the wheels back on, the casters back on that we had to repair earlier in an earlier video. And I uh, just kind of go through this. All right, so you can see here the repair that I did in here. This was... Uh, if you remember originally, uh, someone had tried to break into this at some point in time and they had literally chiseled a hole out of the, the refractory in here. This is kind of high temperature for if there's a fire to be able to withstand. Uh, and they basically got down to the steel plate in the bottom of the safe, couldn't go any farther, and all they did was tear it up. Uh, so we've got some, some high temp refractory and I kind of filled this back in. It sunk in a little bit as it dried and cured, but it's going to be fine. It's all going to be covered up. It'll never be seen again. Uh, and then also just again, comment. A lot of people made the comment that they felt like that this might have, uh, have, um, asbestos in this material. Uh, it's possible that it would have made during a time when asbestos would have been used. Uh, a lot of people have told me they don't think that they actually had asbestos in this, uh, people who work on safes, but 
to be on the safe side, uh, I did seal all of this uh, with a, a shellac actually. So this has all been sealed. So, you know, it's, it's not just gonna come, come off on my hands or anything. And hopefully if there is any asbestos in there, it'll be a little bit safer. So first thing we're gonna do is uh, come in here and put this uh, plate back on uh, that covered up the bottom. And this is the original, I think it goes from here the other way. But this, this is original to the safe. And again, uh, this safe was broken into or tried to be broken into at one point in time. And one of the things they did was they, they literally broke some of the bolts off and kind of pried this thing up. When I got this plate, this is the original plate, but it was just really bent up. I spent some time hammering it out, trying to get it flat again and even contemplated uh, just replacing it, putting a new piece on here. Uh, but, you know, this is part of the history of this safe. Uh, this is on the bottom. It's not something that's gonna be seen. Uh, once I flip this thing over, it'll probably never be seen again, unless somebody turns it over for some reason. So it's out of sight, out of mind. I'm not too worried about it. Uh, I decided that I would rather keep the original than to uh, really replace all of it. So, um, uh, we're just going to put this back on here, and uh, I've got some new quarter ton 20 uh, screws, and uh, we're just going to screw this down, and that will cover up the bottom. I did come in here a little while ago off camera, and I ran a tap down all these, cleaned up these threads, so hopefully these will all go back together real nice. I'm just kind of going crossways there. I'm using the original holes, but I want to make sure they're kind of all line up. So I'm just going to kind of work my way around. Kind of like if you're tightening up the lug nuts on a tire, you know, don't start in one place. You want to kind of move around a little bit. And I'm not tightening them all the way down right now because this, there is some flex in this and you know, with the bending and the beading on it, it may not, the holes may not all line up just exactly right. I haven't put this back on yet to see how it will go. So hopefully everything's gonna tighten up just fine. Make a quick comment about the screwdriver I'm using because I had some people uh, ask about these uh, in my uh, when they saw me using these on one of our earlier videos. These are actually some antique screwdrivers that um, I picked up. Uh, I don't know, probably some tool sales. Uh, put together a collection of some different sizes. Um, you know, these were very common uh, items back in the uh, probably early 1900s. You know, it's a solid steel piece in here. There's a shank in here and you got a wood handle that's riveted on here on either side. I really like these. I like the feel of them. You know, there's nothing like the warmth of wood in your hand compared to plastic. Um, and another thing I like about them is these, these handles are kind of oval shaped and it's really easy to get good torque on these uh, with your fingers. And uh, they just feel so much better than plastic. So anyway. Uh, you can find these uh, online. I think there's some reproductions being made now um, in some of the tool places. I think Garrett Wade may sell some reproductions. Um, I don't know. I haven't looked at any of those. Okay, so next thing we want to do is uh, put the wheels back on these, these casters. And uh, we had a video earlier uh, where we repaired these, uh, where there are two of them had been broken. In fact, these two right here. And I am purposely putting the ones that have been repaired in the back. Even though the repairs are on the inside and not visible, uh, I'm gonna put them on the back of the safe where they'll be less likely to be noticed. Uh, I think one of these did have a braze on the outside, but it's not very obvious, but still, we're gonna try to hide it and put them on the back side. Uh, so those go in. Grab some uh, bolts for these. This is just a regular half inch. 
uh, square headed bolt and uh, I had to get some new bolts. Some of the originals ones were broken and uh, so these are new square head bolts but I am replacing them back with square heads just because I'm trying to keep it as original as possible. That's what the original was on here. So I don't want to put hex heads on here. Same thing with these screws. Uh, I went out of my way to make sure that I got uh, straight uh, slot screws. A lot of people don't like those. They'd rather use Phillips, but when this safe was made, uh, they didn't have Phillips head screws. And doing restoration work, I want it to be as close to original as possible. So let's uh, tighten these down. more progress done here. Uh, I am missing one bolt. I thought I had enough out here, but evidently I'm one shy. So I think I've got some more of these out at the museum. I will uh, go by and pick up uh, another one of these and finish this out. Also going to clean this up and go ahead and put another good coat of paint on everything on the bottom uh, and make sure this is done because once I flip this over, I don't want to have to come back and do any more work on the, the bottom. So. That'll wrap up uh, for today.